my name's Katie Jett, and I'm a 4-H state ambassador for Alabama. And here with me, I have Mr. Kenneth Gamble, who's a Foundation Regional Extension Agent for Morgan and Lawrence County. Hello, Miss Jett. How you doing? I am doing great. <laughs> Wonderful day. All right. Well, I have a couple of questions for you. So the first one is, just tell me a little bit about your job. Well, with my job, um, I've been working 29, almost 30 years. It'll be 30 years on October 1st. Wow. Um, this is the only job I've ever had coming out of college. So that lets you know I've been here a while and everything's been pretty good for me. Been doing 4-H the entire uh, time of my uh, years of service. I've done some other um, things in the extension, but 4-H has been longevity. Mm -hmm. Well, what was your major in college? Well, that's a little bit strange. I'm going to have, have to tell you a little story to tell you about my major. All right. Okay. With my major, I started out in agribusiness education. Um, I took all of my agricultural courses and I started on my educational courses and I was told that I couldn't take any of my educational courses uh, without taking the state test. So um, it was either take a semester out of school or change my major. So I spoke to my supervisor who agreed with me it was okay to change my major. So I went from agribusiness education to agribusiness agri non-teaching with a minor in mechanization. So I did that because we hear about so many uh, statistics where people, when they go home for a semester, it's hard for them to get back in school. And so life changes <laughs> for them, sometimes for the better and sometimes not so good. And so I didn't want to become a statistic. And so I just chose to stay in school and change my major, which it set me back maybe one year um, <laughs> in my scheduled graduation time. But all in all, I think I made the best move. Yes, sir. Well, can you tell me what a day like what a day is like at your job? Whoa, a day? Yes. <laughs> I don't know if every day or every week is the same. It's different quite often. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, um, you prepare yourself to um, teach young people uh, a life skill, I would say. And so you do a lot of, um, I guess you can say research or um, on the internet and reading and trying to find out ways that you can teach young people at the same time teaching them, hopefully uh, making it enjoyable where whatever it is that you're trying to uh, get to them, whatever information you're getting to them, that they can have fun at the same time because it's never been said that education can't be fun. And so mm -hmm. we're not uh, in a school setting all the time. And so you just try to make things different, but at the same time fun. Well, you've kind of touched on this next question, but what prompted you to go into this field? What prompted me? Uh, I'm a people person. Anytime you're going to do anything working with other people, you got to know what your skill set is. And I am a people person. I love to talk. I love to find out or learn about the history or the background of people I'm involved with. Uh, when I was in college, I was around a lot of foreign students. And it was just enjoyable to me to know their background uh, and how different it was from mine. And so that's just intrigued me, just talking to people and learning about the, the different lifestyles that we do have. Even with the young people, you know, I didn't come off a farm. So learning about how uh, their farm life was. Some may be inner city, uh, a much larger city. And so learning about that lifestyle. So all of it is different and intriguing to me, but mm -hmm. at the same time, I just enjoyed, you know, talking and um, just enjoy talking to young people, adults. It doesn't matter to me, just holding that conversation. 
I'm the same way. <laughs> that might be something that I'm interested in when I get to college and after college looking for a job. But would you recommend your job to other people? Yes, yes, yes. Um, it's a job that um, if you're interested in, like I said, uh, uh, speaking, uh, being creative, that's another thing. You have the opportunity to be very creative, um, flexible. You know, you, you got to be a little flexible because things don't always go as planned. So you got to learn to be flex flexible. Uh, you got to be a planner. You got to plan ahead of time. You um, also uh, have to uh, hopefully get an account for things not going your way. What do you do next? And sometimes it has to be by the fly, you know, that, okay, it didn't go. So what am I going to do now? Because you can start a PowerPoint. PowerPoint doesn't work. So what do you do next? You got to be prepared for things like that if it don't go your way. So, yeah, I mean, if you can handle things like that, you'll love it. Well, it seems that you do really enjoy your job, but is it ever stressful? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you have your stressful days, and it doesn't always have to be the job. You know, just sometimes you just wake up, life just seems tough on you. And, uh, mm -hmm. It can, you know, kind of weigh on you, even at work. It doesn't just go away, but you, the thing of it is, you know, there is a tomorrow, and you have a chance to get it right. And so, Yes, yeah, stressful days do happen, but you try not. You try your best not to um, uh, put that on someone else's, you know, someone else's um, day to make their day bad because you're having a bad day. You kind of sometimes have to step back and say, okay, I, I, I can't do that to the other person or I need to go somewhere and just kind of relax for a minute. Maybe it's a cup of coffee. Maybe it just being one-on-one -on -one with yourself in isolation, but you have to stand back and, you know, get yourself together and say, whew, okay, now I'm ready. And yoga is a good thing for that. <laughs> I can do a little yoga. That yes. Well, I guess this is a question for me. I'm just curious. Were you in 4-H as a youth? Yes, I was. I was in 4-H from fourth grade through the eighth grade. I was either president, I think I was president um, every year except for the sixth grade, which I was a vice president. But every other year, all the other years, I was a president. I can remember making my um, baked foods, my first competition. I did cornmeal muffins. I got second place. I learned how to tie my necktie through 4-H. So those are some life skills that. Uh, I still have to this day. Um, so Forge taught me a lot how to get up and speak in front of a crowd, um, in front of my peers. And, and again, to this day, I still remember from 4-H learning to do the neck um, tie and necktie. Well, this also kind of touches on the next question that I was about to ask you, but in which ways has 4-H helped you grow as a person from being a youth competitions and now having a lifelong job that you really love how has it helped grow you helped to grow me because uh you develop um a love of helping people seeing other people succeed and in doing that you want to continue to do that and you learn a little bit of patience that's not always a gift you gotta sometimes teach yourself to be patient uh, because everybody um, progressed differently. And so um, you have to learn that skill set. And I enjoy seeing others, uh, you know, being successful, you know, and success is all in the individual of what they want in life. And so as long as they feel like they are successful and I can have a part of uh, helping them get to that point, I love it. Mm hmm well, is seeing those kids grow up and be successful, is that the most rewarding thing about your job or is there other rewarding things you'd like to tell us about? It's probably the most rewarding, but the memories is ranked just as high of seeing them from fourth grade and now as an adult. And as an adult, I have their children uh, that I'm, mm -hmm. I'm working with now. I don't want to be an extension as long enough to say I'm working with grandchildren, 
but <laughs> children's, yes, that's okay. So, um, yes, just seeing their, seeing them being successful and the memories I've uh, had with them. Well, do you have a specific memory or funny story or anything about 4-H that has happened to you through the years that you can think of that you would like to share? I'm going to keep that one. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I think I've got to keep that one, but um, <laughs> I, I I do. Uh, I, I have some where um, I'll share this one. Um, when I started off with Extension, I guess I had been working in probably about eight years close to 10 years, somewhere between eight and 10 years. And I was at a, a state competition and uh, state leaders said it was time for everybody to go to their room. And so as I'm ushering my 4 H's to the room and others who was just standing in the hallway, uh, one of the other older agents at that time told me, said, isn't it time for you to be in your room? Why are you standing in the hall? I said, I'm not a 4 H'er. I'm an agent and they didn't believe me. And so another agent who knew me just happened to turn the corner and say, yes, he is an agent because they didn't mm -hmm. believe me. They, so they thought I was uh, one of the forages because I didn't look old enough to be an agent. So huh. that's a fun memory. All right. Well, I guess my last question for you is what advice would you give a youth interested in your job? Um, advice. Um, Know it's something that you want to do. Um, think about it seriously, knowing that you want to help others. That's got to be something with, that's within you, that you want to um, see others succeed and you want to be a part of that and helping them. Same thing is uh, wanting to be a teacher, but you also have that creative side of um, exp expressing, you know, your love for teaching. So being a little creative, a love for helping others. Those are the two biggest things I think you got to have. Well, is there anything else you'd like to tell us about or share with us? I've enjoyed my time in 4-H. Um, I really have. Um, so that's the biggest thing for me. Just if you enjoy your job, you, you, you when you wake up, you don't mind going to, as you would call it, work. But um, you got to mm -hmm. enjoy it. You know, if, if it's something that you don't enjoy, then it's not for you. But I, I've enjoyed all of my time in 4-H. I, I really have. Well, thank you for speaking to us and telling us a little bit about what you've done in your 4-H career. And I look forward to seeing what my career leads me into. So thank you. You're welcome.